Hey, good morning. I'm about uh, halfway through our climb this morning uh, by geography. <laughs> the uh, summit is much steeper. A lot of people have been asking me why am I doing seal fit? Um, podcast family members, friends. So let me start with an update on that. I'm not going to be able to do the 50 hour event. My swimming is not there. And that would put uh, teammates at risk. Um, can't do that. So I was hoping to go, well, my intention was to go 24 and roll into 50. Uh, that's not possible. So doing 24 hours and I'm going to choose to thrive in that. Incredible people uh, in my cohort. Uh, what a blessing. Great leader um, who's leading our group. Uh, so why? Well, number one, God wants us to be strong. I mean, if you think about the Garden of Eden, there was no death, so there was no illness. And I think strong bodies are harder for Satan to mess with because when you're tired and you're depressed, uh, you're fatigued all the time, I think it's easier for the devil to get in your head. Um, yeah, you have to watch out. Start worshiping your own flesh and you're in trouble because uh, he'll play that game too. So number one is uh, to be in a scenario where my physicality is not going to get this done. There's, there's nothing you can do to out-train a group of Navy SEALs who are going to find a way to break you physically. You, they're going to. Um, so, so number one is that, to rely on the Holy Spirit. Um, the greater picture is God gave me a love of doing this stuff. Uh, we can't have our glorified bodies until we go to heaven, uh, the new heaven and the new earth, but we can glorify the bodies we have uh, by treating them well. Number two, I won't give a lot of detail. I lost a friend uh, who served our country and I was wondered if I could do what he did. The answer is no, I'm not the man he was, um, nor <laughs> do I have his physical abilities. Uh, that he had, but I want to honor him. I want to honor people like my friend Tim Cruikshank, um, you know, Tim from Bonefrog Coffee, um, CEO of Bonefrog, former Navy SEAL, and Bud's instructor. He did it. I'm not the man Tim is. Um, so honor him. The third's kind of a private reason I'm doing this. It's um, something I share with, you know, friends, family. Uh, and maybe one day with everybody. So this thing here is a 30 pound dowel. You can see how long it is. The pack is 30 pounds. Um, this is where I've come from. This is called Canfield Peak. Uh, it's North Idaho. I'm about to hit the steep part of this. Uh, if you are not consistently doing something uh, to make yourself physically strong, uh, Start at the basics. I mean, if, if walking is hard for you, walk more. If squatting is hard for you, squat more. Um, and realize the armor of God, that's spiritual, right? We're not battling flesh and blood. Our, our, our enemies are the spiritual forces in the, in the dark realms. Uh, the Holy Spirit guards us against that. But fatigue, being tired, being depressed, being weakened, uh, I think can make us spiritually weak. I know it did it to me. When I weighed uh, almost 400 pounds, uh, I was given to real bouts of depression up to and including literally deciding to kill myself, as, as in I had made the decision. And I was so confident in the decision, <laughs> I actually called my mom to tell her, hey, look, um, things are not gonna get better, that's clear, I'm always gonna be a mess, so, I've decided to kill myself. And I was in such a terrible state of mind that I thought my mom would have listened to my logic and say, well, I'd like to argue with you, but you're right. It's not gonna get better, so you should, you know, you should eat a Glock. Um, she didn't do that. <laughs> Imagine that. Uh, my dad and my sister came down to Salt Lake where I was at, and they um, said they would stay there until I was better, so thank him for that. My dad's gone to heaven. My sister's still alive. 
but I was in a weakened physical state and um, don't get there. So the wise unseal fit, um, God gave me a love of doing this stuff. I believe strong bodies are something God wants us to have. It was a design in the garden. Um, I'm going to be denying the flesh down there because the flesh is going to say quit constantly. Uh, there's going to be what Mark Devine, who runs Seal Fit, calls the fear wolf, going to be barking at me. We don't feed the fear wolf. Um, you know, we want to feed courage wolves and strength wolves and all the other wolves. Uh, for friends, one in particular who lost his life, well, he didn't lose it because it wasn't misplaced. He gave it to us, for us. Um, kind of a private goal may talk about later and the bigger thing big picture is strong bodies I think create stronger minds stronger minds can focus more on the word so that's what we're doing I'm halfway uh, the steep climb starts I'll probably make another video at the top here we go this is pretty much the summit there's a little higher point up there I'll walk over but this is a good place for video it's uh, Coeur d'Alene Lake behind me and over here uh, Taden Lake down below there uh, that's the summit it's most of the altitude gain is in the last half mile I don't remember the exact gain I think it's I want to say it's 1800 maybe even 2200 feet I'll look at it later I just forgot um, Praise God for a day like this, and praise God for giving us the capacity to strengthen ourselves. If you're a young person, please don't take your physical strength for granted. Uh, it will diminish. Um, there's a t-shirt in the CrossFit community, don't weaken. Don't weaken physically, um, because it can lead to and help the devil uh, weaken you spiritually. So, climb was not bad, the Dow was a bother, but it was just a bother. Uh, down we go. Thank you for watching this and uh, all the political stuff, the godly stuff, the podcast is here too, so you can subscribe to that. Thank you.